Hello everybody, this is Glenda with Fraylands and Friends Crafts Plus. And this time I, I wanted a little something to relax. So I did a plate. I, I painted a plate that we already have. Go ahead right now and subscribe, click the notification, and give us a thumbs up. I'm going to give you a music to a lot of this, but I want you to see. This is the flower that I'm going to be working from. And initially what I'm doing here is I'm painting the outline for the center part. For that white center where the little pink, little pink dots are. And you can see the <laughs> orange there in the middle. That reduces quite a bit by the time I get get it finished. So I'm gonna <laughs> in a minute here I'm just gonna start filling in with painting in the white when I've got that to my satisfaction and I'm gonna be putting those little tips that you saw in the picture where it's got that kind of there you can see it there where I've just put those little lines at the ends of each part. So then I will go in and fill that in with some white. Okay, I have started painting in just little dots of color, the pink color. Now, if, as you can see, those are pretty big dots. They're not exactly what I wanted. I decided to do a little experimenting, which you'll see here in a minute. I go back to my little toothpick method, and I do a little bit of experimenting with that. be dotting my dotty little dots around for a little bit <laughs> and then I'll be comparing there we go you can't see them very a lot but you can see the as I progress that you see more of them and they'll become more apparent but after a while I do decide that I do like the ones I do with the toothpick better <laughs> and I can actually graduate the size on them from a little bit bigger to a little bit bigger. And so I'll just keep going with that. And sooner or later, I do come back and just cover all of that white over and start, start over with the pink. You can tell that by how, how my hand moves that I'm using the toothpick.
You can see that I am starting to paint the outer petals, the pink outer petals, and I haven't completely shaped them yet. I'm in the process of shaping them. And it's only the upper part of them, or the outer part of them, that is that same color of pink. So I just painted that cup again. <laughs> that cup just wants to be painted. You can see where it is between, where the paint goes in between those little little tiny petals that stick out there from the center. It's almost like it's one flower sitting on top of the other, which I, it probably is <laughs> if it were 3D, but I'm not seeing it in 3D, so I'm painting it in 2D, which is my, actually my only option anyway. <laughs> So I am, as you can see, I am doing that. I have not um, changed up the inside yet where all the white is because it needs to dry before I can paint white back over it again and just start over. <laughs> so I just continue and do these pink petals, the pink outer petals. So let's give you a little bit more lively music this time. Is that making you hop a little more? Want everybody up dancing in front of their chairs right now. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Better than that snoozy music I had on earlier. Come on, admit it. I continue to paint these in, and a little fluke happens. <laughs> My memory card ran out. But you can see what I've got here so far is the... I'm, I'm doing the not-so dark pink part for right now and I'm you know I have to work with it a little you know me it's just kind of like that you know <laughs> I when that memory card goes or the battery goes when it's pointed down I can't see the screen to know it so this is pretty much the end of where the actual painting took place but we're not done because I have to talk to you yet and then I have bloopers so stick around for some bloopers well I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed our new plate <laughs> I kind of think it turned out pretty after all I'm just sad that it didn't get all of the the whole process in there but I think you saw quite a bit of it when my hand wasn't in the way. <laughs> so it's got a little texture to it from the little, and I kind of like that. So the next one 
I will do is this. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the next plate I do. Hopefully we'll start something else for a, for a little bit. But this is what I use for a pattern. <laughs> and so I've come up with this one. And I thought maybe I could do something either abstract or geometric on that one. If you've got an idea or maybe a picture of something you could in, you could put into the comments. I think you can insert a picture. I don't know why not. But anyway. I haven't I haven't really checked that out to see. But I was thinking maybe triangles, you know, like uh, triangulars, the triangles that touch each other, or maybe just around the edge. We'll see. But tomorrow, I think I'm going to either go outside on the porch if the weather allows, or we'll start that scrapbook. I'll see you then. Thank you for being with us. Please click the subscribe button, ding on that little notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Please subscribe, give us a, <coughs> please subscribe. This thing just started flashing another battery on me. Jeez. This. <coughs> Thank you for being with us. And I have this next plate that we will be work, that I will work on next time I do a plate. It bigger, much bigger. Please click that subscribe button. Give us. Please click that subscribe button. <laughs> Please click the describe. <laughs>